Hello, Kazek community. Hopefully you can hear me over the bagpipes and drums. <laughs> yes. Where did I put the case for it? Here it is. Um, yes, I had a little... Uh, uh, it had been a while since I had, had been to my hotspot for cassettes. Um, so I, I decided to uh, uh, visit it. It's the Mary S. Roberts Pet Adoption Center Thrift Shop. And... Um, <clears throat> usually their tapes there are uh, 25 cents each, um, but they just happen to be having a half-off sale. So, uh, that being said, I picked up a, a decent little stack. They didn't have a whole lot of new tapes, but they, they, had, a, they had a handful, and I think I bought most of them. <laughs> now, <clears throat> before I show the ones that I picked up, uh, a, a few members of the cassette community are going going to chuckle at me because I'm I'm nervous about repairing cassettes. Um, I'm sure it it's probably the easy uh, the uh, you know uh, an easy enough thing to do, um, but I'm still nervous about it. For example, um, one of the tapes that I I passed on uh, the little pad had come off. No, I'm sure that's that's probably an easy fix. <laughs> um, but you know, I just I uh, I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> now another one, which I was I was really disappointed. The the tape it, the the tape itself was had come undone from from the, the the real I guess you call it um, and again you know that's probably something I could fix but I'm just nervous about it <laughs> I should have I should have bought just bought them and shipped them to Alan Doss and uh, paid him to ship them back to me <laughs> after he fixed them <laughs> but anyway um, yeah so I passed on a couple that that were um, deemed unplayable, or were unplayable, actually. All right, so what we are listening to is one of my finds. Um, <clears throat> my my heritage um, is very likely from Scotland, um, which is probably why I'm one of the few people that loves the sound of bagpipes. <laughs> no, I, that's I'm sure that's an overstatement, but. Um, yes, I, I really enjoy this kind of music. And it's good background music for us. So, um, so again, uh, they were having their half off, half off sale, so 12.5 cents. All right. All right. Uh, these next two I picked up, they're, they're the same thing, but you'll notice that they are different. Um, one appears to be an earlier version of it, and one is a later version. But it is Jimmy Buffett, Riddles in the Sand. I always want to pronounce his name Buffet. <laughs> like, you know, hometown buffet. <laughs> Alright, so the more recent one is on a clear cassette. And then the and has a, a clear case, and then the other one has a black case. And a solid. Woo! Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I did not break it, so I do not have to send it to Alan Doss. <laughs> anyway, I'm just so excited. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so I, I figured, you know, 12.5 cents, I could pick up both copies, and maybe one of them will have some sort of value. Um, yeah. Uh, this one is more my wife's speed, but. 12.5 cents. I'm sure there's at least one song on there that I'll like. Um, so it's George Michael, Faith. We have a couple uh, of... <sighs> you have to clean this case or something, but it's, it's Clint Black. Um, again, trying to get a little more into country music. This is Put Yourself in My Shoes. And... I probably should have swapped out the case with another case, but I, I don't usually like doing that. So, um... 
Yeah. Oh, and the artwork is even stuck to the... <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. The, the tape itself looks playable. But anyway, so Clint Black, put yourself in my shoes. Clint Black, killing time. And my wife, usually when people mention killing time, she, she puts out this quote. I don't even remember who originally said it, but um, something to the effect of, as if you could kill time without injuring eternity. So, I, I want to say that's Oscar Wilde, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, but Clint Black, killing time. This one, um, Alan, uh, I believe, showed this on vinyl. I'm pretty sure it was Alan, uh, describing it as the best uh, country album. So it was um, Marty Robbins, Gunfighter Ballads, and Trail Songs. So I, I was glad to find this on cassette anyway. Um, I know I've seen it on vinyl, but... Oh yes, this reminds me now. All right, so we have uh, Meatloaf. Bat Out of Hell, and the one where the the tape inside the cassette had had come off the reel um, was uh, Bat Out of Hell too. So I was a little disappointed about that because I'm actually more familiar with as most people are with that album. Um, yeah, but very glad to pick this one up though. Oh, here's another. Uh, Jimmy Buffett, uh, Last Mango in Paris. Last Mango in Paris. Yes. Just a couple more. Now this one, I was very curious about. Very curious. First of all, it looks pretty old. But, it's African American Heritage Series. And on the back here, there's two things worth noting. First of all, it has the McDonald's logo. I'm not sure what that's about. Is this something that came in Happy Meals? <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> somehow they were involved in, in the production and or distribution of this. Um, I suspect just the production. But I was it, it looks like it's just um, people talking about about um, famous people and events in African American history. Um, but what, what caught my eye is the second topic. Dizzy Gillespie. One of my favorite, favorite jazz music musicians. If I, if I had to pick three jazz musicians, it would be Chet Baker, Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie. There you have it. Yeah. Very excited about that one. Um, so it's more of a, a documentary, I guess, essentially. And the last one, very excited about this one also. Jethro Tull, Original Masters. And it was funny because um, the lady at the, uh, at the thrift shop said... Uh, I, I actually misheard her. I, I thought she said, we have this on vinyl also. And I was like, really? And she thought I was getting excited, like I was going to go look for it. And she said, no, I have it on vinyl. I was like, oh. And then she explained that she has quite a collection. I should ask her what she considers quite a collection. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I'll... She... She doesn't come off as the friendliest person, but occasionally she'll make little comments here and there that that suggest friendliness. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll have to talk to her more about vinyl, but very happy to get this. All right, well, there you go. That's it. Um, I did pick up some excellent CDs. Uh, now I'm doing CD finds videos. Can you believe that? 
Um, I still need to post my second one, but I realized I flubbed on it and included two CDs from a from my first CD finds video. <laughs> I'm not sure how I did that, but anyway. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.